Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy XIII walkthrough. Uh, we are down in the Mahabara optional area, and actually this is a dead end for the time being. Uh, if I remember right, you have to beat... I don't know if there's a mark that's down here. Something like that. I don't know, it's been a while. I don't know why I'm retrying this. <laughs> I guess I really didn't want to fight those two. And I don't think I'm going to be able to sneak by. No. Although, I guess here we get a preemptive, so okay. It's probably worth it. Um, again, now I don't remember exactly what the deal was with the uh, this area back here. I thought I thought it was a, uh, a mark that you had to activate to get back here. Or uh, into the... I don't know what that is. What, the, what, do you, what, what do you consider those things like? They look like gigantic garage doors. So, again, I don't remember. I don't remember if there's a mark back there. Or what the deal was. I'm pretty sure, though. Pretty sure that's what it was. But, uh, anyways, alright. So we gotta run all the way back. And again, now this is kind of why I suggested in the last video not, uh, not necessarily exploring down here. I really don't feel like the treasure spheres were worth it. Uh, at this time, anyway. You know, later on, uh, once you... Once you can actually, uh, you know, activate the... Like I said, I, I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a mark back here. But, um... Yeah, for the time being, I don't know, it just doesn't really feel like it's worth worth the time of uh, running back here. But, uh, anyhow... Let's keep keep moving, keep going through here, get, get back to where we're supposed to be. <coughs> Uh, it's kind of weird too, seeing these this combination of three characters. I didn't, I don't remember using these three, uh, but <clears throat> I know the first. I think actually the first time I played through the game, maybe the first time, but maybe it was the second time. I'm not sure. Uh, but one of the times I actually went with uh, lightning being my commando for most of the game, which is kind of an odd choice. Like, yeah, she she makes a fairly good commando, but. Um, you know, I feel like Snow and Fang actually kind of are a little bit better, in some aspects anyway. Um, and then uh, I, I actually used uh, Snow, which again, uh, really kind of a strange uh, way to go about it, but I used Snow a lot as a Ravager um, and used his... Oh my gosh, he's got one weapon there that um, basically has no strength growth at all, but has really, really good uh, magic growth. I think it's the Fey Mark? I think it starts out as the Fey Mark. And then uh, I forget what its upgrades are, but you know, it's actually one of the more powerful magic uh, weapons in the game. So, you know, fairly good for his, his Ravager role. Now, um, if I remember right, he does have a couple of strike abilities, though, so... You know, in certain cases, you know, a more balanced weapon would be, you know, would be pretty, pretty nice too, but... Uh, anyways, it ended up, uh, I kind of liked it. It was an interesting, it was a very interesting setup, very different. Uh, and then he always does have the, I think it's the Sacrificial Circle and its upgrades, and those are interesting items as well. Um, being that he's got such, uh, basically what it does is it, uh, it kind of nerfs his HP. Um, but in, uh, in a, it kind of has a trade-off. You get really, really good stats. So, um, you know, for for basically the guy that's got the best HP stat uh, of the entire group, and by a long shot, you know, it doesn't end up being uh, too big of a deal. So, you know, that's another kind of interesting uh, weapon you can use for him. Now, for me, I think I'm using the... What was it? The, the basic wild boar and the... I think wild bear. I think it's, I forget the name of the base item, but then it upgrades to the. It's the feral pride. I think that's right. And uh, that's what I used for most of the game. And that's uh, you know really really goes well with his commando role. Um, and then even even uh, you know to a certain extent, if you do have him acting as a ravager in in certain scenarios. Um, it's it's not necessarily bad either, just because it does have a really good magic stat on it as well. 
Um, and then, you know, like I said earlier, Snow's got some some of the strikes or strike abilities. I think he's got, I want to say it's Water Strike and Ice Strike. Because I can, I can check you really quick just to, just to verify. But, um, you know, I feel like uh, that's another kind of nice thing about having a, a weapon that's more balanced. You know, then you're not kind of pigeonholed into using just magic abilities. Uh, because, unfortunately, there are a lot of enemies in the game that are, uh, you know, basically immune or they have have the damage of, of one or the other. So it's always kind of good to, to have a balance, I suppose, between the two. I think um, I, used to, I used to be under the incorrect assumption that... Uh, uh, that um, the the rating or the battle rating was based off of both stats, but it's not. It's the it's the whatever you have better of the two. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, if you've got a, if you're, we'll just say your magic stat is uh, 300 and your physical stat is 299. Well, it doesn't add them up and give you, you know, 599. It's it only takes the uh, you know the magic stat or the 300. So, you know, unfortunately, like I said, uh, I was I was under an incorrect assumption there that that uh, that it added the two. But anyways, yeah. So Snow does have Frost Strike and Aqua Strike. So, you know, it is nice to have. You know, being that it it, it just depends really on what you're using him for. Obviously, commonly I was using him for Commando. And uh, you know, but even then, I mean, even even as just a Commando, uh, there's still times though where. You know, you're going to want to have a, a split between the two stats. Uh, especially in the case of, you know, if, a, if an enemy is, uh, or, ha you know, have, halves the physical damage uh, of an attack. So, because otherwise it's just not going to do anything. Or, uh, sorry, you're, you know, you're kind of uh, going to be less, quite a bit less effective. Uh, just because if, you, you know, if your weapon only has uh, physical, uh, or strength, sorry, strength on it, then uh, you're going to be at a disadvantage. Now, um, obviously, now here I I, uh, I made the mistake of trying out this mark, and um, I think I might leave some of the footage in just just so you guys can see how difficult this mark is at this point in the game. And, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't, I, I wouldn't say that I tried my hardest to beat it, but uh, I did, I did try pretty hard. <laughs> I really did. I gave it a, I gave it a really good shot. And I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't take him down with any, any, uh, I don't know, real, real good effort. And, uh, I knew that even if I was going to be able to beat him, I knew I wasn't going to be able to get a five star. So I didn't really see uh, much reason to do that. But, uh, here you'll see it's not going to last very long and, uh, I don't do very well. So, um... You know, I'll end up doing uh, or taking care of this mark quite a bit later. But the vanille's already down. So we'll see. Now, granted, this was a pretty poor attempt here, but we'll see. Plink. <laughs> All right, so that's that. So we'll see. I kind of want to show you guys a little bit more, just because now, obviously, I didn't really, I didn't really try very much to beat beat him on that first attempt. <clears throat> I don't know if I was expecting this to just be a walk in the park or not, but... Um, you know, he very well may be. He might be able to be taken down right now, but... I wasn't... My characters weren't developed enough, and I did not have the right equipment at all. And yeah, look at this. <laughs> so, everybody's dazed. No one can do anything. Lightning dies. Again. Uh, and the the big thing with this guy is he just does a ton of damage. Obviously, obviously he's half shotting or doing seventy five percent of you know these my character's HP. And uh, obviously, with with certain buffs, I could probably reduce that. But he's also dropping some really brutal status effects, as you can see there. I've got what is that? Slow, deep protect, poison. And uh, not only that, but it's debuffing my characters as well. So, and I know this is not going to last much longer now. This, obviously, it started out okay, but uh, that's not going to last. And here's Feeding Swoop. 
And I don't know who, who, who he was aiming for, but he missed. And that's the one saving grace for uh, Zernitra. In, it, it's that um, sometimes you can kind of get away with uh, avoiding that. Now, if, if one of your characters, especially with uh, having this low of stats, if one of your characters has deep protect on them and then he hits them with uh, feeding swoop, there's no way you're going to survive. That's, it just does way too much damage. And yeah, he's hitting for like 3,500. That's just nuts. But, uh, alright. So, so that's that. I think that was when I call it a day. So, <laughs> let's go back to the actual story. I actually did. I'll, I'll be honest. I tried a bit more after that using different setups. Like, I had a snow as sentinel for a while and you know i was just trying to to see if i could survive that way and it uh something always ended up happening and uh i just wasn't able to pull it off <clears throat> um and you'll see there i've got you can see actually on the mini map there the mark is still active and that's just because i haven't activated another uh seeth stone yet but uh that won't be the case for much longer we will we will activate some more stones <coughs> um, sooner or later. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, anyways, all right, so we're back in is this place, Sulia Springs. And uh, we're just going to continue on. This place actually isn't that big. And uh, earlier, before we went to the optional area in Mahabara, uh, we basically got the majority of the... Uh, treasure spheres here, so there won't be much left to obtain. Alrighty. Looks like, uh... So I must have spent a little bit of... of, uh, CP. Because I'm extremely low now, and I don't know why I swapped lightning back. I think it was, it was actually bothering me because I had played so much of the game as Lightning as the party lead that it felt kind of weird to have Snow as the party lead. But again, it doesn't make sense from a, from a play, an actual play standpoint. It, it just makes more sense to have Snow as the party leader. He's got more health. So, you know, and I've mentioned that quite a few times, so um, I just, it's really weird. It's really weird to... Uh, to basically see myself keep making that mistake. <laughs> Again, though, I think it was because at a certain point I got so used to Lightning being the party leader that it just felt weird. Uh, eventually I broke myself of that habit, but it took a while. It took way too long, actually. But uh, anyway, so this this fight is really easy. You know, there's, there's no new enemies here, no new strategies, really. Let's just take down the... I guess I took down the little guys first this time and went for the Orobun la last. And yeah, it looks like we it must have cleaned out the place fairly good. And here is a, obviously a Seath Stone that is not active yet. I don't remember which that one is or where you can start it. I don't even know. Or when you can start it. I don't remember. We'll get there eventually. We've got uh, quite a few actually coming up here in the, the next area. And there's the, okay, so seven abyssal scales. Those look like organic material. And oh, I'm trying to remember if there is a, yep, there is a cutscene right here, so. I'll pick the commentary up again right after. Hey, Sarah, what dreams are you having up there? You figure we can stop here today? I think we're all kind of tired.
How's Sarah? Same as we left her. Feels so far away now. <laughs> Sarah says she wants to talk. She'd probably prefer it if you skip the lectures. Hey! Once we're home, what's your plan? You're getting married, right? What's that? Sarah wants to know. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. You are getting married, aren't you? Don't you let her down, you hear me? <laughs> Don't worry. This tear will be her last. I'll make sure of that. That's all I need to know. You will see her, right? Don't go there. No room for doubt. You're right. We'll see her again. And soon. You convinced me of that. So stay strong. Don't worry. We'll finish this and go see her together. All right, so I think Lightning and Snow are finally seeing eye to eye. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's kind of a rough character. Anyways, let's continue on here. Boy, I, I don't even remember this stretch of... I don't know what you call this. Canyon? Quasi-canyon? Anyways. Was, was that a single Seath tier? That is like the lamest treasure sphere in the entire game. <laughs> Okay, yeah, now I know where we're at. So, uh, I don't know. This, there's a, there's a save, save point right back there. I don't know if you really need to use it or not. I guess it's always a good idea to save, but, um, I'm trying to remember. I think there was a mark that I had to do. Oh, yeah, that's, that's going to be much later. We don't have to worry about that yet. Never mind, pretend I said nothing. You're almost home. Yep. Doesn't exactly look like it's gonna be a leisurely stroll. A foul sea! Oh, so we just head through this foul sea's lair to get to Erba, right? What's another foul sea at this point, huh? Okay, first things first, I believe this is the teleport point, so you're going to want to pick this mark up and make sure you take care of it right away. Goblin Chieftain, mark 20. Do we miss any marks? I feel like, I feel like I missed some, I don't know, maybe not. Yeah, maybe maybe we're doing okay. Anyways, all right. So this is the man of armor. <laughs> Probably not saying that right. These guys look pretty cool though. It's kind of like a. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know. I want to say like a cross between. Some sort of wolf and like a pterodactyl? I don't know. Pterodactyl, they, I don't know. They look like they got the kind of like the wings or the way that. I don't know. Anyways, alright. They just look goofy. 
How about that? Let's just leave it at that. Uh, I don't know. Okay amount of CP and a sinister fang. So that's going to be obviously organic material. Nothing too fancy. I guess I wouldn't go out of my way trying to trying to fight these guys. Although that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out of my way to fight him. <laughs> it's another perfect example of... Uh, you know, do as I say, not as I do. But uh, I don't know. They're not. They're not too difficult. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Just another. And that battle. is that. What? No spoils. Ugh. Weak. Weak. All right, now up here there are some, I don't know what you call these, well, I guess we'll find out really soon, but whatever these goofy enemies are, Amphis M Bena, sounds right, sounds good, looks good. Uh, these ones are not too difficult, obviously, this is, this is no Zernitra, he, uh, he doesn't do anywhere near the amount of damage that guy does. Uh, and then once they, once it's staggered, or once it's staggered, it goes down extremely quickly. Zap, zap. Alright, no that's the end of that. And man, it is nice to have haste. I don't know if I've mentioned that enough yet, but it's really nice to have haste. All right, let's continue on here. I think there's a treasure sphere in the back corner, and we've got a mark around here to beat, too. Uh, maybe he's in the back corner. Yeah, he is. He's back here. All right. So it looks like, what do we have? Okay. So a goblin. Um, oh, two goblins, a munchkin. Uh, Munchkin Maestro. And uh, I don't remember what the, the goblin... Is the goblin chieftain? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, now, this fight, just like the uh, the other ones here, whenever you're fighting the, the goblins and the, the, you know, the munchkins, you always want to take down the little ones first. That's always a, that's a good general rule with these guys. Otherwise, they'll... The little ones can like uh, transform themselves into the uh, the big ones. I don't know if the munchkins can do it, but I know for sure the goblins can. I think they use uh, so like bas basically if you kill off the goblin chieftain first, one of the little guys will use an ability called Rise to Power. I think if I remember right, and uh, it <laughs> transforms them from one of the little dudes into the into the chieftain. So kind of neat. Kind of a you know a. a Neat little aspect, I suppose, of the battle. No Alright, that is that. Hopefully this ends up being a five star, which I... Yep, there it is. And the good thing about that, once again, is that... Uh, I got a Rotocrosite, that's kind of lame. Um, but uh, that's going to give you the teleport location here at the... I think this is Tijin's Tower or something like that. And eh, 20 Sinister Fangs, that's kind of lame. Eh, whatever. Ah, I shouldn't say that. It's, that's a lot of fangs. So those will, obviously being organic materials there, it'll be good for, good for getting your multipliers on your items. And it looks like we need to pause. All right, that wasn't too bad. Probably had to grab some munchies or something. Who knows? Why am I going out of my way to fight these guys? It's so annoying. Just run past them. 
I think I was trying to make sure that I, you know, got a complete data log, and so I wanted to kill him a couple more times, but I ended up coming through this area so many times. I think I, you know, I'd bet five times or so would be my guess. So, it's not really a worry. Or it shouldn't have been a worry. <clears throat> I guess, luckily, they're not too bad. Oh, wow. That was like a, that was a really big hit there at the end. 68,000 damage or something like that. It's kind of crazy. All right, come on, buddy, let's go. We got stuff to do. We got videos to make. All right, so here we are. This is the... Taijin, like I said, I think it's the Taijin's Tower or something like that. And uh, this is the, the base floor. This place is kind of neat. Uh, it can be a little confusing, I'll be honest. This is actually maybe the the most confusing area in the game, to be honest. hearing that am I no uh, it, it couldn't be them could it I don't know it's weird like voices in my head I hear it your presence here draws the tyrants gaze leave this place at once we can't leave this is the only way for us to get through please Help us! As you wish. Look for us, and the way will open. Uh -huh. Hmm. That was easy enough. You never know. Could be a trap. Could be. Don't see no stairs, though. Do you? Nope. This is our ride. Bumpy or not. All right. <clears throat> so here we are. I'm at uh, at second glance here. It actually kind of looks like it's Tajin's Tower. I'm going to say Tajin's Tower. How does that sound? Uh, I know we've got some treasure spheres to pick up here on the the, the ground. I think this is considered the ground floor. Uh, but yeah, very very neat area. <clears throat> very um, kind of interesting the way a way to get around. Uh, unfortunately, like I said earlier, it, it does get a little bit confusing at times. But I think it'll be fairly straightforward. Uh, if you're following along with the with the walkthrough, I don't believe I did a whole lot of backtracking. There might be one spot, maybe two, but uh, hopefully it's not it's not too bad. But uh, I think I'm gonna grab these treasure spheres on the ground floor, and then I'm gonna save, and then we will cut the uh, the video. Spark bane brooch, okay. Sounds fun. What else do we have here? I know there's something else down here. There we are. Four thousand seven hundred and twenty one gil. Okay. I'll take it. I mean, if you're offering, I'll take it. All right. Uh, yep, here's the... I think this is the last treasure sphere on the ground floor. And then, like I said, I'm going to actually save right here. And then uh, we'll, just, we'll just cut the commentary. So, 
Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, whatever you guys want to do. Hope this guide was helpful, though, and I uh, hope you join me for more. All right, thanks for watching.